Good evening and welcome to Cliffy Land's Global Cooking Challenge. As we continue our four-year journey of learning to cook by cooking the food of one country in alphabetical order around the world, getting our way from Afghanistan to Zimbabwe, this is night and week number 188 of 193. Uh, we are cooking the food of Vanuatu. Uh, the Pacific Island nation of Vanuatu, and tonight we are making lap lap, which is one of the traditional dishes of Vanuatu. Vanuatu located right about there, in case you're wondering a series of some 80, 80, 80 different islands, uh, volcanic islands. Tonight we're making lap lap, a version of lap lap that can be made in the home. Uh, traditionally it is made uh, outside in a long detailed procedure or purchased uh, in uh, shops uh, and eaten as a street food but here we're trying to do a chicken lap lap so let's give that a shot let me flip this around uh, thank you for the like uh, Resgar we are simulcasting on Meerkat and Periscope hey Anne Marie thank you uh, that's my big hand right there on Meerkat uh, give me one second while I hook up all the Meerkat people into their appropriate brackets. Sorry for the uh, lens flare there. Uh, we're gonna start moving really quickly. So I'm gonna flip you. Hey, that's me. Okay, you um, Periscope people are gonna be getting the bird's eye view. Uh, yes, yes indeed. It has been very, very rough. Thank you, Anne-Marie. That's very kind. Uh, let me get y'all all centered up here so you can see and you can come this way with me. Uh, if you see me taking pictures, it is for the blog. The blog is located at clippyland.com. You can like on Facebook, follow on Instagram, uh, Pinterest, and please subscribe to the YouTube channel if you can. Just go to YouTube and search for Cliffy Land. Uh, so let me make sure I have my camera ready because we've got our prep all good to go. So, uh, we have our casserole dish, and this is going to be layered. Now, the first step on this is going to be using plantain leaves. We have earlier cut our plantain leaves and softened them on the stove so they are flexible. We have two of them. We're putting one aside for now. So, this is going to be, uh, whoopsie doopsie, uh, forgot major step. Need want to oil that casserole dish a little bit just a bit. So give me one second here while I get my s spray or oil that down a little bit. There you go. Okay. Now, big leaf coming down. Uh, this is going to be in layers. It's sort of like a tarot cake. Uh, it's very thick and starchy and heavy and I have not cut it to the appropriate size, but I'm hoping that's gonna be okay. Uh, thank you, who are we looking at there? Patty, thank you for the like. So now that we have this in here, uh, we are going to mix in our grated taro. We have five cups of grated taro uh, that we have grated earlier for these purposes. We've uh, put a little bit of lime and lemon juice on it to keep it from going too brown. Uh, in the process, but let's uh, let's hope this works. Uh, okay, so we're gonna mix uh, this in. Oops, oops oopsie doopsie. Um, let me put that down there with half a cup of this coconut milk. And let me move this around for the time being while I do that. So half a cup of coconut milk is gonna be coming right here. We have one and a half cups of the coconut milk. So let me get a picture of this for the blog. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to mix that together with a wooden spoon. Que uh, haces ayaka? Uh, uh, si hablas español, estamos haciendo sugar. Uh, no, no, no sugar in this. That was coconut milk. 
Uh, that is very sweet, though. Estoy haciendo algo que se llama lap lap, um, que es una tradición en las islas de Vanuatu, un país en Pacífico de como 80 islas. Eso es taro. Uh, so, and we are listening to music. Hey, Barimbroski, thank you for the like. Oh, my goodness. Hey, goodness gracious. Hey, Vicky, how are you doing? Thank you so much for the hearts, everyone, my stars. I don't know what happened here. But we are making lap lap. So we're mixing in our uh, taro, and now we're going to spread that into our casserole dish over here. So let's hope I do that without killing myself. Alrighty, here we go. Thank you, you people are so kind. You have, uh, so it's it's been rough as you, as, as, as you know. Uh, as I'm sure you know, so uh, we're uh, trying to carry on and uh, cook to make it all better. So we're going to spread this mixture out across the bottom of this casserole dish here. Uh, taro is very starchy. Ukraine, hey there, hey there Ukraine, how are you doing? Greetings, we cooked Ukraine a few weeks back. You can find that on cliffyland.com. Uh, and see how we did. I think we did a few nights of Ukraine uh, and it came out quite well. So this is Vanuatu and we have spread out our mixture. So picture of you. Uh, I'm preheating my oven just in case. Okay so now we are going to put our chopped spinach uh, thank you. Uh, into this. Now, the uh, normally they would use something called island cabbage, but I uh, can't find that here in Florida. That's where we are. Uh, we're about two hours north of Miami, about uh, two and a half hours south of Orlando. Um, so, uh, I got this other uh, called Malabar spinach. Uh, it's a Chinese spinach. Uh, so, I found that. I figured that would be kind of close. So, we're putting this in the middle of the dish, thusly. And get a picture of you. And now, uh, after we've done that, we're going to surround this with our halved tomatoes, which we are going to be putting down cut side up. These are four halved tomatoes. So we're surrounding the spinach with the halved tomatoes. Okay, and maybe over here. Okay, it's gonna be like that. Thank you for the likes and the hearts and everything, everyone. So, picture of you. Say cheese. Okay, and now we're gonna season this with salt and pepper. So I'm gonna do your YouTube channel there. Yes, uh, find it. Uh, go to uh, YouTube and search for Cliffy Land and you will find uh, the channel there. Uh, eventually we'll have a uh, URL uh, a specialty URL, but not until we get more subscribers. So please do go and subscribe. So we've uh, seasoned that with uh, some pepper, and now we're going to get our salt down. Okay. Thank you so much. And so clean up. Alrighty, so uh, now we've done that, we're going to drizzle the rest of this coconut milk on top of that. So this is uh, going to be about a cup of the coconut milk. So here we go. There is a ton of coconut milk used in this. Uh, this is only half of the coconut milk that we're using uh, overall over this entire dish. Thank you for the restream. Um, Polo79. I would look and see what your name is, but my hands are kind of full right now. So now that we've drizzled the coconut milk on top of that, uh, we're going to set this aside. Oh, no, sorry, one more set. And we're going to put our second banana leaf on top. I do, but lazy somehow. <laughs> so we're going to take our second banana leaf and put this on top of this, thusly. And then we're just going to put this aside for a minute. Here's going to be the part that's going to be funky. Funky, hey Vicky, so nice, so nice to have you here. Okay, moving you aside. 
Uh, I need to put that someplace where it won't fall down. Hold on. I'm having space issues. Okay. So now we have, uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, so uh, we have a chicken, a whole chicken that we have here. Yes, yes, indeed. Very looking forward to it. Yemen week. Funky Fairy will be in the house. Yay. Looking forward to that. So we have our chicken and we're going to drizzle it with the juice of one lemon. The trick for me is going to be at the end cutting this chicken up because cutting chicken up is always a drama for me. Uh, so, because uh, I'm kind of definitely afraid of salmonella. So we have our chicken and we're going to put this aside for a second and... Oh, no we're not. We're going to get a big old bowl. I'm going to put this in. Okay. And then we're going to put on top of this our various spices. Oh, sorry, I missed that. Um, with our turmeric. There's a teaspoon of turmeric. And a teaspoon of curry powder. And a teaspoon of chili flakes. And then we're going to coat it well, which means the hands are going to get dirty. So, uh, well, my, uh, so I'm always stressing over this here. Okay. You making Nando's? No, we're making, um... Uh, but, uh, lap lap. We're making lap lap. It's our one and only night of cooking the food of Vanuatu. And let me tell you, um, I uh, I got I got a tweet last night when I, I tweeted this about doing the dish from someone in in uh, Port Vila, the capital of Vanuatu, and uh, suggested some things. And kava would be one, which would be a, a very strong uh, beverage that gets you. It's fermented beverage, so it's like alcoholic or something. Uh, don't have that. And this other thing sounded really good, but I did not see uh, a recipe for that. At least not by the time I needed this. Thank you, Vicky. Thank you for popping by. Uh, sleep well. Uh, we'll see you soon. So, let me clean my hands here. Okay, so now that we have rubbed that with the various spices, and I need to mark off where I am so I don't forget. Okay, now we're going to uh, him and him and him and him and him and then put it in the, it would be a roasting pan, but what we have here is um, sort of a, an old Dutch oven. Now I'm gonna have to wash my hands again. And I've been preheating my oven, which curiously, the recipe forgot to mention. Now here's the part that's gonna be kind of weird. Because once it goes in the oven, uh, it's gonna roast for an hour. Now we have some stuff to do while it does that. Hello, who am I looking at? Emily, hello, Emily. So we have our chicken uh, sitting here in our roasting pan. We are preheating our oven. We have our taro over there. And, uh, and what might happen, depending, is uh, if I'm done with the roux and there's time left, we're gonna shut off the stream and then come back again for the reveal. So uh, make sure you follow on Meerkat, follow on Periscope, you'll get the notification when we would be starting back up again. Uh, but we are going to, since I have this all ready, I'm gonna move you over to the stove. Hold on, don't get too dizzy. Okay, here you go get a different look at things from over here make sure you don't fall down okay there you go and uh, one more month and I have school vacation good for you Emily looking forward to it I always did uh, so while we're waiting for that to preheat uh, we're going to get started with the uh, sauce that's gonna go um, because that's going to have to cook for an hour. And like I said, if, 
you know, it's no fun to just stare at nothing for an hour. So we're going to give you something until, until that happens. So uh, we have our heavy pot right here. And into this pot, we're going to put in the coconut oil. This is a teaspoon of coconut oil that we're going to heat up in our heavy pot. And uh, now we're going to add in lemon leaves. Now, if the, have you done Ghana? Yes, it was one of the very best and tastiest countries that we did. Uh, that peanut soup was the very best. Uh, you can check it out at cliffyland.com. That predated the video, so there's just pictures and no video. Uh, but yes, Ghana was phenomenal. Uh, so, and there's a whole story about how I was pressured. I had a lot of pressure before I cooked Ghana. Um, don't drop the tablet. Yes, thank you. Um, and thanks for the like and the restream, Emily, by the way. These are lemon leaves. They, uh, now, they're supposed to be kaffir lime leaves and traditionally in most Asian cooking, uh, but this had lime or lemon leaves. We happen to have here in Florida a um, Meyer li lemon uh, tree outside, so we're using that. So we could drop that in, too. And that was optional. Uh, so now uh, we're going to add in flour it's a half a cup of flour i'm sorry about the white balance on that but trust me it's a half a cup of flour let me shade it so you can see mm. eh, shade eh, too much overhead lighting okay so a half a cup of flour is going to be going in we're going to be making a roux r-o-u-x roux uh what's the sound in the background that is traditional vanuatu music uh, drumming and such. Uh, Vanuatu, very interesting nation, uh, was known as uh, New Caledonia, if you are, you know, older. Um, you remember, you may remember the islands of New Caledonia. Uh, that was, was the British, and there was the French, and the volcanic islands. They didn't have really a human population until later than you'd imagine. Uh, so uh, the tr food traditions are uh, very much pa island, however, they're very mixed with French traditions and British food traditions as well. I'll be back for a review. Thank you. Okay, so we're trying to heat, waiting for this to heat up some before dropping in our flour. And still waiting for preheating the oven, which conveniently the recipe did not mention. To do that, it said just to roast it. So uh, that's what's gonna happen. Okay, here we go. Here we go with the flour. Flour goes in and we are going to make a roux. And there's that. So now that that's beeped, uh, we're going to... Sounds like a dryer. <laughs> yeah, it does. Uh, okay, now into the oven, we're going to put in uh, our chicken mm -hmm, over here. And our uh, taro cake over here. Mm -hmm. And okay, so it's uh, 6.30 now. Uh, so we are going to um, remind me to baste the chicken in 15 minutes. Okay, so now I'm making our roux. Very much looking forward to the new Apple Watch, uh, the, the Watch OS, which will make this a lot faster. I hope it reminds me. Okay, that's it. Remind me to baste the chicken in 15 minutes. In case it didn't do it. I wasn't looking. Come on, baby. You can do it. It does sound like a dryer. That's funny. Okay, yay. Alrighty, so we've got that. And now we're going to pour in all this coconut milk. Uh, which is two whole cups of coconut milk. Now, if I've seen the traditional making of lap lap, uh, it is a completely different operation. Uh, the women of the village will be working on part of it, and the men will be uh, getting the plantain leaves down and making a giant, giant pile. Uh, and then we'll be cooking this on something that's the size of a table that would sit two or three people. Um, it's huge. And then they would put in the grated taro in a you know giant pile 
uh, we're gonna put chicken on top of this. Uh, but then they would put a pile more leaves on top and then two or three people would have to carry the entire thing over to the uh, hot coals because there's no electricity on many parts of the islands. Um, so it would be put on top of there and then just sort of cooked and it comes out like a cake uh, that you'd be wrapping in plantain leaves. On the islands, uh, plastic bags are not allowed. So when you're buying stuff, uh, they'll wrap it for you in plantain leaves. And so you get this big green package that has everything. So you would eat the meat in this, uh, sorry, the, the taro cake in the package. Very dense, very starchy. That's kind of how it goes. So I'm not paying enough attention to my root here. Tiki tiki ti, tiki ti. Uh, again, things that are white are difficult for the uh, for the camera here, unless I got more shadows going. So you can see it. Uh, so this is gonna be like a sauce. So now we're gonna add in uh, two whole chilies. Too hot, too hot, turn it down. Two whole chilies, these are uh, the, uh, what, firecracker chilies? Small little red chilies we are growing now that uh, couldn't find it elsewhere. And uh, then we're gonna add in the spring onion, which is a half a cup of spring onion. And I should get a whisk rather than this. Okay, whisk coming right up. Am I right? Something is missing. Something is missing. I know I screwed up somewhere. Ah, yes. Well, we'll do it now. We're gonna add in our garlic and ginger. So, garlic, that's six cloves of minced garlic and about three tablespoons of chopped or sliced ginger. So now we're gonna whisk this all up. And this is the uh, sauce that's gonna be served on top of the chicken, which is gonna be served on top of the taro. Traditionally, this would be uh, served, you know, at least the way the recipe is, uh, on a platter and people just take their own portions with the pieces of chicken on top. Uh, but there are two of us eating, I'm just gonna serve two portions and hope it doesn't look like uh, something really bad. Okay, so I'm making the roux and we're gonna let it simmer and turn it way down. And then we're gonna take it off the stove and then once we do that, we're gonna pause or turn off the streams for uh, until the reveal because you don't need to sit here and watch me just baste the chicken or... Um... However, to let you know in the interim, I will have to be basting the chicken plus uh, at the uh, 20 minutes until the taro cake is done, I need to take the top banana leaf off so as to um, let the heat from the oven just kind of get on top of it there for the last 20 minutes worth. And then we'll have to let the chicken set, but you're gonna see that. So here's what we're gonna do. Uh, since it appears that our roux is uh, just about where it needs to be, I'm gonna turn it uh, off the heat and set it aside so it doesn't get too thick. And then uh, for now, we're gonna say goodbye to you and to you, but we will be back. Remember, follow here on Meerkat, follow on Periscope, follow on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or Pinterest, and you can see the everything when it uh, starts again. We will be unveiling uh, at about 7.45, somewhere between 7.30 and 7.45. So, Anne Marie, thanks for liking the restream. Hey, Dad. Um, so, we will be back. So, catch you later. And welcome back. Welcome back. This is uh, the unveiling of uh, night two of the food of Vanuatu. Uh, we have made a lap lap and we are about to unveil it. We're taking it out of the oven now. Uh, we are live streaming on Nearcat and Periscope at the same time. And um, again, this is night and country 
Number 188 of 193, we're nearing the end as we learn to cook by cooking the food of one country a week in alphabetical order, going from Afghanistan to Zimbabwe. Uh, tonight, again, we're cooking the food of Vanuatu, Pacific Island Nation, located right about there. Hello, Tammy. Thank you for liking the restream. Okay, let me flip you around, uh, meerkat people. Hello, love y'all. Uh, we are taking it out of the oven. We have our chicken. Hi there, that's me. Periscope people will get uh, the bird's eye view. Nya, nya, nya. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna put you over here because uh, we are plating. And uh, we have our, well, you know what? We have one second, one step more to do. So over the stove, you will go. And thank you for indulging me. Uh, Mom, you got it, yes. So uh, we have our roux, our coconut sauce that we have made on the stove. I warmed it up some. Need to season it. The salt and pepper. And then give it a taste to make sure it's okay. The view is crazy, ain't it though? Uh, thank you so much for the likes and the restreams, everyone. Let me get a spoon so I can give this a taste. Uh, okay, this is gonna go over the chicken. Oh, goodness. Mmm. Oh my, that's good. Okay, so let us take the chicken out of the oven. I'm gonna need both hands for that. Okay, so oven mitts, numbers one and two. Okay, so here we go. Thank you for the hearts. Okay, yowza. Chicken. Ta-da! I'll turn it around so you can see. Thank you, Tammy. But did we follow? And uh, that's the chicken there. And then the lap lap itself, the uh, taro cake, is here. There. I'm gonna put this aside right there. I bit into a piece of ginger, yow. So we have to let the chicken rest for a minute. Uh, Anne Marie, thank you for the like and the uh, share. <coughs> So this is our roux and that's our uh, taro cake, which is the base of it. Now here's the deal. This is uh, a recipe that's allegedly for two people, which is not humanly possible because there's a whole chicken. Um, <laughs> oh, Tammy, you're so sweet and you figured out the whole thing. Oh well. Um, and uh, give it a little, 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 little. Uh, but we need to let the chicken rest. It's supposed to be for two people. There's no way maybe for, yes, meerkat is, uh, oh, sorry, I didn't see that comment there. Do you feel like giving another shot? I wasn't looking up. Uh, but we're letting this rest. We have our plates here. We have the chicken coconut sauce. And now we need to cut up the chicken. Um, so, uh, I'm going to take the thermometer out of it. And it would be best to not use my bare hands on metal that's been in the oven. Just a thought. Okay, ow. And in the interim, I managed to bust my digital thermometer. That was exciting. So, uh, let's slice up that chicken, shall we? Looks nice, thank you. Okay, so uh, now that you're there, I'm gonna move you over to where I'll actually be doing stuff, over here. And I'm gonna move my cutting board over here too, so you can see. We're discussing, uh, yeah, no one was on Meerkat. Yes, uh, for phase two, which we'll get into later, uh, which will start after we finish with Zimbabwe, we'll be doing a soft launch on the second spin of the challenge uh, with some countries that are not UN member states, territories, disputed areas and such. And uh, then we will begin, we'll go away for a little while, and then we will begin uh, in earnest phase two as we start from A to Z again but on any given second night that we cook we will also be doing the 50 states and uh, on any given third night that we cook we will be doing a cuisine of a nation oh yeah Mr. Scopes lately yes well uh, I haven't been doing as many um, this weekend was away and of course you know bad things happened which 
let's try to not dwell on today. Okay, mmm. So we have our chicken. Ta-da! Now I gotta figure out how I, to cut that up. Turn that heat down on the sauce. Alrighty. So, remove the, the wing. I'm just not good at this, so if this looks really stupid to you, it's probably for good reason. You know what? I have an instrument just for this. Where are you going to be screaming next clip? Uh, after uh, we do phase two, uh, we will be moving from Meerkat to Busker. It's a new app called Busker, B-U-S-K-E-R. Greetings. I, uh, I tested, uh, but we're moving to Busker and then we'll still be on Periscope and I'm still deciding whether I feel like doing anything with a uh, NOM, N-O-M. Uh, Bella, hey, thank you for the like and the restream. Okay. This is a meat cleaver. There you go. Okay, then come this way, my dear. Okay. Separate the legs. And thighs. Uh, la la la. I'm not missing anyone. Okay. I'm doing this very roughly and not particularly well, but hey, it happens. But I tested the temperature on it, so it's 165, so it's where that needs to be at least. And the breasts. This is not the right knife for this. Okay. I am destroying this chicken breast. Okay. Let's try it the other way. That's better. Look at that. And there's our wishbone that I never know to take out. Okay. Alrighty, well that's... We've got a uh, carcass. Okay, carcass going away. One, two, three. One, uh, two, three. Okay. Wish we would have had news about MK. Uh, I mean, is it officially going away, or is it just, you know, like abandonware, as, as I have called it? So, I mean, I'm just curious to know. I'm sure many people in um, Kurdistan would like to know as well. So, uh, here we got our lap lap again, one more time for those on Meerkat. It's right there, uh, which is a tarot cake. Uh, and we have spinach and such on top. Now, the way normally this says it would work, did you put a pot for stock later? That would make sense, wouldn't it? Um, that, uh, we'll figure that out. Let's, let's put it that way. Um, okay, so I'm gonna move you. Hey there, how you doing? Okay, over this way, so you can see. Uh, what's your name on Busker? It's gonna be Cliffy Land. It is Cliffy Land. I am there, I'm just not broadcasting there yet. Uh, I will, uh, beginning with phase two, okay, hopefully, no, that's still too hot to touch. Okay, while this is pretty, now I'm going to have to serve it, make servings, and that's when it gets not so pretty. So, uh, everything, by the way, is at clippyland.com, blog goes up on Wednesday, uh, pictures, links to the original recipes. Uh, videos, information about the country, and everything will be there tomorrow. So uh, let's get our serving spoon out, and I think this might need a knife, because I know it's very dense. Well, maybe it's not that dense. So This is going to be very messy, I just know it. Uh, now, I mean, it probably looks nothing like a lap lap in 
Tuvalu. Or no, Vanuatu. Sorry, my apologies. Um, but uh, we're doing our best. This is uh, a variation on on a lap lap, so something that can be done on a stove rather than, and it would be normally done in an earthen oven, which we don't have. Okay, so this is the very dense of the taro cake with the tomatoes, which have the tomatoes, so let's put that this way so I can see them. And we will put on uh, a chicken breast and a thigh here for that and we will move stuff around uh, have you seen junior no I haven't um, I saw him a few weeks ago if that matters okay and mer. okay big mess a lap lap is normally a you know a dense square uh, of a cake. Uh, I'm just totally, de utterly destroying this. So, just so you know. It's not normally supposed to be a big goppy bunch until it gets to your plate. So, uh, breast and thigh, and chicken breast there. Okay, and the rest will be leftovers. So, dinner time! Hot, hot, no, yes. Okay, let me get this out of the way. Let's so I can take a picture. Okay. Yippee Yahoo Cow Patty. We have our lap. I'm going to take a picture of which one. Clean up the plate. I think this is the better looking of the two. Or maybe this one. Okay. Sorry we don't have any kava uh, to have this. Uh, okay, nice person. Moving on. And they say per Periscope isn't home of trolls. Uh, let's see. We'll take this one. Go in, go in this way. Go in that way. Uh, Tammy, uh, I have to look for you on Buscar. I'm not sure whether I have or not. I don't spend a lot of time looking at it yet, but I will. I will be. Soon. Okay, I'm trying to get... There you go. Okay. So, that's it, people. Uh, who is that lovely person? Hi. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Sorry, here, look at the food while I do this. Bye. Okay, and now we have the lap lap with the chicken. And there you have it. Uh, that is uh, Vanuatu for you. Gare Bear, thank you for liking the restream. So that's it for Vanuatu. Check out the blog tomorrow at cliffyland.com. That's cliffyland.com or maybe this way. Whichever way it works for you. And you'll find the blog tomorrow, pictures, links to the original recipes, videos, information about the countries. Follow on, like on Facebook, follow on Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, and subscribe to the YouTube channel if you would. That would be really groovy. Thank you so much. You guys have a great night. Love one another because we really need it. Take care.